So uh, about the leveling, we're back to precision work, you know, within two or three millimeters almost. <laughs> uh, this leg is probably about two mil too long. This one is about a mil and another one down there, maybe a mil, half a mil. So I'm going to try and get it as close as I can with my trusty little grinder. Of course, I will be using the eye goggles and all that. And uh, uh, a vacuum cleaner as well, try and minimize the amount of chips and stuff because uh, my children are little savages and they uh, will not wear shoes no matter what you do. So I don't want them to get little splinters in their feet again. <laughs> so uh, they also don't stay away from the places you tell them to stay away from. So. Uh, we'll see how I get on. Uh, I'm gonna speed up and kill the sound when I'm doing noisy things. You'll also see a very advanced high-tech uh, use of a vacuum cleaner in about a minute. You can see here the uh, advanced technology that even in the zombie apocalypse you're gonna wanna have near you you know very complicated machinery here and only the uh, finest technology for those of us that are ready to survive the ongoing and current zombie apocalypse so it's going to get noisy in a minute. Always, always have your uh, zombie apocalypse goggles. That's what they are. You know. And then uh, let's see how we get on with this. I'm going to kill the sound now because it's going to get ugly loud. Oh, see, nearly forgot. Here I'm thinking of you, the loyal spectators, and forgetting my own ears. Now, with more super advanced technology, we check our measurements, which, using a little fish line, which of course we can't quite get plumb because um, the table is not exactly plumb. here but Looks very close to me. Uh, possibly we need to angle that a little bit more. Put the gloves on and the ears. See, let's. That's what happens when you just want to do one little extra bit and that's when the disc breaks and takes out your eye because that's just how it goes. Moment 
point of truth, and of course always using the most advanced health and safety technology, don't anybody ever copy me. You just have to... Oh, yeah, this thing is quite, a, quite the little table, you see. something kilos and that's me swinging full four and of course the other problem we have is that the uh, distribution here is uh, probably not level either and of course yes of course it looks like I've left the level somewhere else so I'll be back in a sec And here I am, nothing like a little constitutional run up and down a hill of a couple hundred meters with my trusty level. Now the problem is that I've just checked the floor and the floor is not level. <laughs> so um, when I put this on the table and I just lift it just enough to get this to be level regardless of what the, uh, the floor is doing, it looks like a couple of millimeters have to go up. It's not a lot, but it's enough that it's bothering me. And uh, the slant to the to the front, similarly, can't tell because it's a bit of bowing here, and also the floor is not level. But remember what I told you in the last level table uh, video. Look what I got just from the good old US of A. And these are perfect because this diameter is just a bit wider than the bottom of the legs, which are round. And then, using a uh, another metal plate, what I can do is enlarge this hole because these are M12 and that's an M10 hole. And of course, I can't find anywhere in Italy that's got M12 bolts. They've all got M10, M20, M18, but no M12. So I'm stuck with the one bolt that I've got here. This one is pretty much fixed to the bottom. And the idea is I put a plate through here with, uh, with this one right at the bottom and uh, possibly even do a bit of touch welding on the top so it's like attached to the leg pretty solidly. And then adjusting this uh, nut here, I can raise or lower the, uh, the table until it's perfectly level. Anyway, that's the romantic ideal and that's what I'll be doing next. Uh, and you might also remember that I had a, a kind of a stone that wasn't quite granite, but good enough. Well, I changed my mind about that. So I now have a piece of, uh, I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's basically pink granite. Uh, I'm secure enough in my sexuality that I can use pink granite on my lathe. Uh, which was basically left to me by my uh, my neighbor and friend who unfortunately passed away. So I wanted to do this as a little bit of a memorial to him as well. So this is going to go as the actual leveling thing. I know it's not squared off, but you see, it wasn't quite long enough to get a, a rectangular shape, but it doesn't matter because really the lathe only needs to go where this hole here is and where this hole here is at the bottom. And it fits on there. Um, the actual part of the lathe that will be resting here is only about this wide, so it will be fine. And uh, I look forward to having completed it, at which point I'll show you the finished process. And hopefully it will all be both level and flat. That's the uh, romantic ideal again. So uh, I put the leveling feet on, quite a bit more stable than I thought it would be. Given the very high-tech way I did it, uh, let me show you. So there it is. As you can see, there's a metal plate, and under that is the. Uh, oh, let's see if I can show you close up. There. So you can see it's got the foot, the base bolt, which isn't movable, and then this bolt, and there's a washer and then this metal plate. 
Now, my next point is I think I'm going to probably do just a touch of spot welding on the uh, on the plate and probably cut off the, the excess so I don't bump into it with my feet because it's pretty sharp corners. So I think I'll do that now and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Right, now here's the little welding machine and uh, you know it's got a bunch of uh, settings from pretty low like 20 to 140 watts I think I'm not sure and I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm welding so I just start off on the lower one and see what happens I mean you know what you want me to do like read the manual it's the apocalypse right just figure it out don't do what I do so here we go And what you don't want to do is get the welding rod to stick in one place. That's bad. Got a nice Jedi green flame here through my glasses. But I'm clearly doing a piss poor job because it's supposed to just run along. But these are not the best welding sticks I've got. They're a bit too thick, but it's the only ones available. And you know, zombie apocalypse, so you make do. It seems to be flowing a bit better now. Once you get a good start, you've got to be able to push that little, uh, that little soldering type part along, so that it makes a a nice little puddle with which to join the uh, the metal and I don't know if you're gonna go blind from looking at this for a video so if you do don't blame me you shouldn't watch YouTube videos by crazy people that are just trying to survive the zombie apocalypse I want to try and get a pretty thorough all-round weld. And well, it looks like I might have done it. So, oops, there's my health and safety gone. I'm gonna plug those back in. Now always make sure that you switch off your welding machine when you're done. And another thing, make sure you've got actual welder's gloves on because these things get really hot. If it gets stuck, it'll get red hot. You can get splatter and you want proper welder's gloves. I've been pretty careful, so I haven't gotten any burns yet or anything, but um, you know, be careful. I'm going to do all the other legs and then get back to you once I'm done. And here we are with the finished legs, which uh, I think you'll agree are looking very, very sexy. Kind of like a, a 1950s British television show uh, where the uh, evil robots obviously have this kind of leg. And I don't want to say the word Dalek because I hated that show, but uh, yeah, my uh, lathe metal table might look a little bit like it's got Dalek legs. Anyway, uh, I'm going to level it next and uh, do a couple other bits and then I'll show you the whole finished shebang. 
and here we are you can watch this live as I use this tool to put that bubble level let's see how I do That looks pretty good to me. Um, that is indeed level across the board there. So, my little Dalek feet are working. It's now level and flat. I think the next step, ladies and gentlemen, is to put the lathe on here. So, we'll see you when I've done that.